For those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Russ Batto. I'm the athletic director for the district. Um, I'm extremely proud to be here tonight. Uh, main reason, as I look out here at the table of the football players, for those of you who don't know, I was the principal for these guys when they were in fourth, fifth, and sixth grade. For the seniors, when they were in sixth grade, I was their principal. So it's, uh, it's a pleasure to be here tonight. When I look at the faces of these guys, they don't realize I still see them as fourth, fifth, and sixth graders, just like some of you parents probably see them still. And uh, as I walk around and I've walked the sidelines, and I stand next to these guys, and they're, they're standing either here or above, and they're starting to fill out a little bit. They're, they've become young men, so I'm extremely proud of these guys. Um, <clears throat> I do want to say, uh, as I was listening to Mr. Jimmy's prayer, there's a lot of things that he said in there that, uh, that I think people don't realize, and that's, that's how much we owe to everybody around us, guys, the support that they give you. You know, when we talk about your parents, you know, starting years ago, bringing you to and from practice, getting you to those summer workouts. A lot of times we take that for granted, but your parents have to make special plans to do that. So we greatly appreciate you guys. We greatly appreciate your parents for doing that. Um, then we have parents that go above and beyond. We have those that serve on the booster club. Um, I've been working with Miss Rachel the last couple of weeks. Um, I know Miss Tripp and then there's other officers and people who have done a great job putting this banquet together. So I want to thank those guys as well. And <clears throat> when you think of tonight's banquet, guys, this is kind of closing out our season, but there's a lot that's gone into this from the parents, the Booster Club, talk about your administrators, your coaches over here have done a tremendous amount of work day in and day out, but also for the players. They started last year about this time working for their first game. For the uh, juniors uh, and freshmen and sophomores, they started a couple weeks ago working for that first game next year. And, and I think sometimes we forget that. And the people that come Friday night to see these guys, they just come and see the Friday night game. And they don't always think about all the work that goes into this. And tonight's a celebration of everything that you've done and all of your hard work, guys. So if I could get everyone to give these guys and everyone in the room a good big round of applause. <clears throat> um, once again, mention the coaches. Guys, you know, I've coached several sports. For those of you who don't know, I've been in Long Beach since I was in seventh grade. I came back and coached here, coached football for a couple of years. And football coaches, they got it pretty tough. Uh, Friday nights, when everybody goes home, those guys are still sitting in the locker room getting ready for the next week, washing clothes. I bet you if you ask all these coaches when they sat in on their first uh, – job interview for a, an assistant coach they didn't say hey man do you know how to wash clothes probably didn't ask them that question Said, well you're gonna be doing it for about six hours on Friday night but um, they put a lot of work in so coaches once again we appreciate everything that you do I know that you don't always get to talk a lot lot to me and we just say hello what's going on on the sidelines but I appreciate everything you do um, <clears throat> For, for the guys, for you guys sitting here, the next thing I want to say to you is, as you look around at the tables, the guys sitting next to you, guys, these are going to be the guys that you're going to be friends with, lifelong friends, and this comes through sports. Um, I can't tell you how many guys I still know that I played sports with. Um, I, my son asked me a couple years ago, he's like, Dad, how is Uncle John my uncle? Well, he was my best friend, so he's your uncle. That's how that works. And some of you sitting here, that'll be the same case. You'll be in each other's weddings, uh, and it's just important, and you, you create those bonds, and they start it here, they start in other sports. So just remember that as you move on into the future. Um, and last but not least, I, I do want to uh, <clears throat> say thanks to Coach Pygett for all the hard work and efforts that he's put into this season. He's not with us tonight, but I do want to thank him for everything he's done for us. And then I had someone ask me to mention, you know, and I talked to the players that Coach Pike is not going to be with us next year, and we're moving on to look for, for our next football coach. And we wish Coach Pike the best in, in his future endeavors. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and move on to the awards. So I'd like to ask the coach to come on up to the stage. <clears throat> All 
All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're going to announce our Letterman Awards. So as I announce that, guys, if you'd come up on the stage and we're gonna announce them by class. Once we get everybody up here, parents, if you wanna get a picture before the leave stage, let's do that. So our freshman class Letterman for the 2019-2020 football season, uh, Lazaric Brooks, come on up. <clears throat> Eli Harris. Junior Kozlowski. Nathan Richardson. And Clint Sutter. All right, thank you guys. <laughs> Next up is our sophomore, sophomore class letterman, Avery Berry. <clears throat> Wes Borland. Ajiren Brooks. Jaron Burnett, Mauricio Sandoval, Brendan Tillman, and Ashton Williams. Once again, your sophomore letterman. Thank you, guys. For our junior class letterman, Arnaj Kasten. Marcus Duncan. The Allen King. Devon McCord. J.R. McFarlane, Daniel Outlaw, Johnny Fan, Bryce Shannon, Gabriel Smith, Gabriel Smith. Geis Tripp. <laughs> and Tyrell Weber. Guys, if y'all step up just a little bit. Step up closer to the... Once again, your junior class letterman. Good job, guys. Next up, our senior class letterman, Dalton Cook. Kobe Cook. Jaron Evans. Javante Foxworth. Gervais Foxworth. R.J. Johnson, Jalen Jones, Cameron Matthews, Andrew McMillan,
Kyle Morgan. Jace Neal. Simon Wynn. Tyree Peters. Danton Pearson. RJ Reeves Jr. And Jonathan Ulrich. All right, guys, thank you. Once again, our senior letterman. Thank you, guys. All right, next up we have our media awards. <clears throat> uh, we'll go to our media awards, coaches awards, team awards. We'll go from there. Uh, just want to mention real quick, when we start talking about the awards, um, you don't have to be an LSU fan to have watched Joe Burrow the other night in a speech that he gave. But the biggest thing that he, that he said or the first thing that words that came out of his mouth, he thanked his O-line. And I say that because, guys, awards are great but they come because the people around you and the great job that they do as well. So moving forward with that, our media voted awards. First up is Andrew McMillan. <clears throat> he is the first. <clears throat> first team, all MVP team for 5A Region 4, offensive lineman. All Gazebo Gazette team, offensive lineman, Andrew McMillan. Next up is Dalton Cook. <laughs> Dalton Cook was voted honorable mention for all region 5A, region four wide receiver. Dalton Cook. Next up is J.R. McFarland. Voted second team all region 5A four reg four, region 4 defensive back. All Gazebo Gazette team defensive back. J.R. McFarland. <laughs> Next up is Cameron Matthews. First team, all region, 5A, region four, <clears throat> linebacker. All Gazebo, Gazette team, linebacker, Cameron Matthews. Cameron, you didn't bring your oats tonight? <laughs> Good job, buddy. Next up is Gervais Foxworth. <laughs> Gervais was voted honorable mention all region 5A four, region four wide receiver, all gazebo gazette team wide receiver. Next up is Geist Tripp. <laughs> WXXV channel 25 athlete of the week, Geist Tripp.
Next up is Jace Neal. <clears throat> Honorable mention, all region, 5A region four, defensive lineman, Coast Electric, lineman of the week, all gazebo, gazette team, defensive lineman. Jace Neal. Next up is the Allen King. <laughs> Honorable mention, all region, 5A, region four, linebacker. All gazebo, gazette team, linebacker. The Allen King. Hey guys, y'all step up so they can get a good picture. Once again, your 2019-2020 Media Voted Awards. Good job, guys. The next awards are going to be our coaches' awards, so I'm going to turn it over to them. And once again, I just want to thank all of you guys. First award is going to be Offensive MVP, calling up Coach Brady to give out this award. All right, so it's tough to pick an offensive MVP for the season. It's tough because you look back at each game and different kids had MVP-like performances in, in each individual game. I wish I had time to go through every single game and say MVP of this game, MVP of this game, but you can't do it like that, obviously. And as you're looking at it from a season as a whole, there was a kid who stood out as a guy who was just consistently dominant every single game. Uh, when we talked about this award, one thing I said about him was, I can't think of a single game where I watched and said he had a terrible night. Like, I can't think of a single game where I watched and said he was off tonight. He just showed up every day. Every day at practice, he was the same guy. Every game, he was the same guy. He consistently played hard, played with high effort, high intensity, and played the game the way it was supposed to be played. And he plays a position that doesn't normally get recognized. Okay, but, but the thing is with this position, as you put the film on and you watch him play, he jumps off the screen at you and you see the impact he had for this football team this past season. So our offensive MVP is Andrew McMillan. And I also get the honor of giving out the Lyman MVP award. Uh, and that's the award, obviously, that's going to uh, a lineman who really uh, showed out this year, really had a great year, who really dominated up front. And it's going to a guy who actually swapped positions at the start of the season. He, he flipped sides of the ball. And that's a position, that's something that's tough to do. You're totally changing your mindset, you're changing your technique, you're changing basically the way you play ball, your reads, everything. And this guy took that in stride. He took it and made it his own. He owned it. And uh, by the end of the season, he was really a staple of our defense and a leader of our defense. And uh, he's a hard worker. He's a high effort guy, high energy guy. He works his butt off in the weight room every single day, works hard at practice every single day. So I'm honored to give Jason Neal the lineman MVP. Coach Allen is up for the next two.
All right, defensively, um, this award goes to somebody who, who epitomizes Long Beach Bearcats. Uh, he's a guy who always worked hard. You never have to wonder where he is. He is pretty much the heart and soul of a defense. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a sad moment to see him leave because we, we, he's been here, dedicated to the program. I don't know if he, if he missed a day of workouts. Uh, seeing him get stronger in the weight room, see him uh, take a leadership role. And his senior year, he probably had one of the best years of his career off of coming off of a devastating injury last year. <laughs> this award goes to Cameron Matthews. For those of you who do not know, Cameron uh, versus picking you probably tore what three ligaments in your knee, four, all of them, all of them. Uh, this is most people would would never come back from this, but I've seen him work hard in the weight room, seen him uh, never complain, never quit, and he deserves this award. You made me cry. This next one's for uh, special teams. Already? Already. <laughs> now, no, this award does not go to the punter, all right? Although he probably kicked maybe a <laughs> hundred times this year, but that's okay. But, um, for special teams, you, you kind of worry about who can you depend on in special teams. Uh, who's going to be there? Who's going to be able to handle the ball? Who's, who will uh, be able to fill in at each position that you need them to be on? Uh, this guy here was on kickoff, kick return, punt, punt return, um, extra point, field goal, field goal block. Just If you name it, he was on it. Uh, he also has some big returns, including the only special team touchdown of the year. This one here goes to J.R. McFarlane. This next coach voted award goes to a young man who's, um, I don't know if there's a coach on the staff that would say they had anything negative to say about him. He's, uh, if, if anything else, he's going to make you laugh or smile or something in some kind of way. Uh, when he started off, we didn't, you know, uh, just by looking at him, you wouldn't think that he would have done what he did this year and against who he had to do it against. You know, this young man went against people two, three times bigger than him all year long in one of the toughest spots on the field, all right? When your nose is over the ball every single snap and you know there's a big 300-pounder or two that's going to double-team you and you have to fight through it, that is difficult. And he, he approached that without a problem. Didn't hesitate. And that would be Mr. Jaleel Jones, most improved player. <laughs>
Okay, take this man. Almost dropped out. <laughs> All right. We're going to um, move on to the team voted awards. Now, these awards were voted by the players themselves. Um, so these awards come with a great sense of pride to these individuals who got it because their teammates, the ones that are on the field with them, practicing with them hard, they voted for them. So, so these mean a lot to these guys. Um, Freshman Hardest Worker Award will go to Mr. Eli Harris. Sophomore, hardest worker, voted on by his teammates, goes to Mr. Wes Borland. Junior Hardest Worker Award, and I'm going to tell you what about this guy. This right here means a lot more to me than, than most people think, because this guy right here who's getting this award, in his mind, probably does not think that he has done anything to, to, to receive, <laughs> or, or <laughs> and he knows who I'm talking to. Our Nas, everybody up here on this stage and everybody on this team believes you are the hardest working junior on the team, son. Come get your award. Don't trip over that cord. Don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> All right, for the senior, senior hardest worker, Mr. R.J. Johnson. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah. And Mr. Kyle Morgan. For the last award of the year, I mean of the of this of the night, y'all can go, guys. Y'all can go see. This last award we've been doing for a long time, and it kind of um, it's kind of hard to explain. There's not a definite explanation to this individual that gets this award. This award is is based on a lot of things. You know, they're good at everything. They do a little bit of everything. They're hardest working at everything. They, they came back from injury. They do, I mean, it's, it, it could be anything. 
All right? and, and everyone is in agreement on this award. It was unanimous that for the Bearcat Award for this season goes to Mr. Cameron Matthew. Y'all had Marty prepared last year. Why didn't I get no warning? <laughs> oh, man. Um, man. <laughs> man, like, I've always thought, like, I don't know. I've been seeing that thing since my freshman year. I've always wanted to hold it maybe just a little bit. Uh, <laughs> but, nah, y'all just, you can't do this to me. I have nothing to say. All I'm saying is, like, all of y'all need to just have something in your mind to work for. I guess I've always held that as like my top pedestal to finally climb on top of. You know, like for football, it's been my number one dream, you know, go play college and then, you know, hold that. Uh, <laughs> I just, man, just cherish your moments while you're in football, man. I felt like I was a freshman just like y'all like last year and it's already over. So just take your time, love it, make a brotherhood, stop fighting. You little turds, stop fighting. <laughs> all right. Just know I love all of y'all, man. Just make it last. Man. <laughs> there it is. They're still taking pictures. Just don't drop it. <laughs> that was his mom, by the way. <laughs> Good job, man. All right, that does conclude the award ceremony for the night. Um, in closing, though, we would like to say, in, in, case, in case we didn't touch on it earlier, the Booster Club, thank you very, very much for all the work that you've put into this season and for tonight. Um, I was told, little birdie whispered in my ear, they said that uh, this was probably one of the better banquets they've, we've had in a long time. So, Booster Club, we give you all a round of applause for that. Awesome. And we would like to um, say thank you to all the parents and community for all your support that you've given to these young men and to the program. And they're going to need it going forward. So we, we appreciate everything you've done for us and everything that you're going to continue to do. Thank you all very much. And give, a, give these guys right here one more round. One more round of applause. They deserve it. They worked hard this year. Thank you.
Tiger Columbus football, and after school, I plan on going to South Alabama for physical therapy. Hi, my name is Andrew McMillan. I'm the left tackle for Long Beach football. Uh, after school, I plan on going to South Alabama to play football and pursue a degree in medicine. Hi, I'm Cameron Matthews. I'm outside linebacker, and I plan to go play college in football. Hi, I'm Margaret Reese. I'm a defensive back for Long Beach football, and I plan on going to uh, Delta State University for uh, athletic training. My name is Tommy Wynn, and I play defensive back for Long Beach football, and I plan on going to Mississippi State after high school. Hi, my name is Roberto Foxford. I'm a DEM and I'm planning to go to college after high school. Uh, my name is Jaren Evans. I play defensive end, and I plan on going to college and playing football after I'm done here. Uh, Kobe Cook, wide receiver, and I plan to go to Gulf Coast to play baseball. Dalton Cook, uh, wide receiver. I plan on going to Mississippi State or Ole Miss. My name is Ryan Johnson. My number is 71. After school, I plan on going offshore electrician and working with my older cousin. Jason Neal, defensive end, firefighter. My name is Jonathan Ulrich, and I play cornerback and wide receiver. And I plan on joining the Air Force after I graduate high school. My name is Jaleel Jones. I play um, defensive line, nose guard. And after high school, I plan to um, enlist in the Air Force, either in the Navy or Air Force. My name is Tyler Peters. I'm the number four the running back. And I plan to enlist in the Air Force and the engineering field. My name is Denzel Pearson. Um, I play wide receiver. I plan on going to the University of Mississippi. My name is Trevor Foxworth. I play wide receiver and cornerback, and I plan on going to Mississippi State.